Whew, welcome to a new video today, boys. You know, it's funny on camera, it looks so freaking clean, but in person, it's so freaking dusty, but yo. Holy, she looks good. Today's video is one of those videos that, you know, you don't want to make and you don't really want to talk about, but it has to be done because on YouTube, you got to be really transparent, especially with me. I want to be as transparent as, as I can with you guys. So I'm going to tell you guys all the problems on my Mazda Speed 3. Also, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, definitely make sure to subscribe because around 75% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. And also definitely drop a like on this video because honestly, before I started this whole YouTube thing, I never understood what it meant when like every, like the famous YouTubers like asked for you to drop a like where like it does a lot for them and it actually does. And uh, yeah, I would definitely appreciate a like as well. Thanks. So I'm at this really nice spot. Sorry, is this focusing? I'm at this really nice spot near my house, but you know, I just hate when people are around me because you know, it's hard to be a YouTuber, <laughs> quote unquote YouTuber. Yeah, I know. But yeah, it's kind of hard like recording and people are just kind of like looking at you like you're a freaking weirdo or something. But you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Anyways, guys, welcome to a new video. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna be talking about all the problems with my car. So whether that be mechanical or cosmetic, I'm gonna go through all of them. I think I have close to like, yeah, see, people are just, people are just looking at me weird. Yep. I think I have like close to like 10 problems and some of them are not that big of a deal, but you know, it's just something to take in consideration and something that I should fix down the line. But anyways, guys, let's get into the video. Okay. Let's talk about all the bad shit that she's got going on. But guys, look at this spot. Really nice, really peaceful. The nice, beautiful car. Woo. God damn. That should be like my new like slogan. Like, God damn. You know how I always say that shit. But yeah. Woo. She's looking good. I don't know if I have the proper lighting and it's kind of bright right now, but you know what? Let's get on to the video. All right, guys. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is over here. So, I, oh yeah, that's, wow, that's pretty bad. That's kind of a lot worse. There's a layer of like the paint coat that's uh, like literally like peeling off. So the problem with this car is when I first got it, I didn't know this. It was actually involved in the minor accident, like an under the table accident that was not shown in the Carfax on this side. Reason being is because here, if I can do this, if I can multitask it. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys this, but apparently the wiring is aftermarket. Shit, it's not even focusing. So yeah, guys, down the line, I'm definitely gonna have to get that like blended or whatever. I don't know if it's an easy or hard fix, but I think it's gonna be easy, but I don't know, I kind of been holding it off, but yeah, that's first thing. There are certain things on my car that like, you know, I should get fixed, but you know, it's not like a big priority. So I kind of just like, leave it till whenever I really feel like doing it and I kind of just have to set my priorities. All right, next cosmetic imperfection. So the hood. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Shit, let me try to get better lighting. Guys, it's so freaking bright. Okay, so basically all this stuff right here, I don't even know if you guys can see that because the lighting's kind of weird. Hold on, let me uh, turn around. Okay, to be honest, it made the paint look a lot better, but yeah, there's a lot of chips right here. So basically another thing I didn't notice when I first bought the car. So. These are rock chips and then this is a shitty touch of paint job and it's only really here but I don't know I really don't like it and there's literally chips all over the hood. Uh, I got some like over here and even my front bumper too it's all beat up but yeah I don't know I may just leave it and look like dude whoever did this like probably uh not the smartest chap. So yes down the line my solution is either to fully repaint like the front bumper and the hood or i may just leave the front bumper because that shit's just gonna like get destroyed no matter what and maybe get a carbon hood so next cosmetic thing is basically around the whole car which is that the car needs a good paint correction and it needs to be ceramic coated so i don't know like the paint does look good like don't get me wrong but there's just like the certain light you know like the sunlight just hits it right and you can just see all those swirls like maybe you can get that right now yeah it definitely needs a good paint correction and then I'm definitely gonna get, get it ceramic coated. There are also like some like dents and shit here. There's like a big one or not a big one, but here. Okay, you see that? You see that right there, right there. There's one right there. I'm pretty sure there's another one somewhere. I don't wanna like scratch the car right now or like put my finger on it cause it's kind of dirty. It's gonna scratch the paint. But yeah, there's just a bunch of dents and then there's scratches and shit too. Like over here like 
my trunk is just full of scratches. The car is really dirty, so it's kind of hard to see, but. This guy just pulled up, like some random like guy just went to like park in this parking lot. He's like, yo, is your car full bolt-on? I'm like, yeah, bro. He's like, oh, your car's fire, bro. I'm like, thanks, man. Guys, I'm literally just driving around trying to find a spot. And look what I freaking find. Freaking speed. <laughs> I don't want to be a weirdo and just like pull up, but yo, nice. This is funny. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I don't want to look like a weirdo. All right, you know what, guys? I've been driving around for the past like 10 minutes trying to find a spot in this neighborhood, and you know what? I'm just gonna do it right here. So last cosmetic thing is actually the headlights. So the headlights are working right now, and they've been working for the past like half year, but they have given me a lot of problems when I first got them. Like basically when I got them painted from someone, like it was just a terrible idea, and they did they did a good job, but. He just messed it up and I'll explain why. So let me just uh, pop the hood real freaking quick. See if I can multitask and open the hood and record at the same time, okay. Okay, put you guys up here for a second. Okay, success. Okay, so this is some ghetto ass stuff. Okay, basically you see all this tape right here, all this tape. So basically the first thing is this, all this tape is holding the DRL bulb. So the DRL bulb actually doesn't click back into place into the headlights. So basically the only way it can actually work is if I have it like basically like, I push it in and I tape it all up together and then I tape the shit of it so water wouldn't get inside of it. And it's literally been like this. So I, I kid you not bro, since like, like September of 2019, it's literally been like this forever. And I mean, it's been working. I mean, it's pretty ugly if you ask me, but if I get like a, you know, like a carbon cover, it'll cover it up. But yeah, it's pretty freaking ugly. And on top of that, uh, you see down there. So there's more tape down there. That's actually covering up a hole. And that hole has been leading water into it. And I kid you the fuck not, it has literally made my headlight go through like three ballasts. I kid you not, three HID ballasts just on this one. So basically, I actually cannot go through like an automated car wash. Not that you should because you know, if you care about your car's paint, you wash it yourself or you take it to a coin wash and do it the proper way. But I can't even take it because water gets in it so easily. I mean, it should be fine now that I've had it like sealed up before I didn't and it would mess it up. But yeah, these headlights are just completely messed up. They also need a good buff. I mean, they don't look like they need one, but in certain lights, they just look terrible. But Hey man, I think they look good for the most part and you know, it, it works, but you know, one day I will get like custom headlights and retrofit and all that stuff. But you know, for the time being, it looks good and it serves its purpose. So next thing is kind of a problem because you know, if I don't do this at some point, it'll make the car run like shit. My car is really overdue for injector cleaning, new injector seals and cleaning my valves. So with the car being at 175K and I haven't even done that yet, I mean, yes, I know, okay, like, all right, you guys can rip on me. Like I should be, do I should do it. At I'm gonna do it this summer at some point. I just don't know when, but I will do it guys. I promise and I will make videos about it. But yes, injectors need to be serviced. New injector seals from Corksport or Overspeed. And then I also need to clean my valves. That's an important one. The, re the reason why I feel as if I should do it sooner rather than later is because so, I thought when um, like one of my coil packs was loose that it was making the car like slight, not like misfire, but it would make the car bog and like jitter a little when the car is really cold. And you know, we made it tight. We did the Healy coil thing. Uh, I don't know which video I had that in, but we did the Healy coil thing and it still hasn't fixed the issue. So I'm assuming it's nothing too bad. It's just that the injectors and the injector seals need to be cleaned and replaced and the valve still, I'm assuming that's what the issue is. If you guys have issues like that, basically what, what I'm trying to say is when the car is really cold, you know, I, like first thing in the morning when I'm going to work, I let it sit for like, you know, two minutes and I start driving. The odd time, if it's super cold, like on a cold winter day, the car may like bog or stutter just for like the first time I'm in second gear. Like as soon as I start accelerating in second gear, it starts to like bog a little. Other than that, it's perfectly fine. But I don't know. I'm just being honest with you guys. Like it's been like that for a while and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I mean, it makes the most sense. Um, if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but don't worry guys, I don't sleep on maintenance. You know this, I'm gonna do it at some point this summer, I promise, so stay tuned for those videos and I'll definitely keep you guys updated. If you guys wanna follow me on Instagram for like more like behind the scenes or like updates on like my, my car before it goes live on YouTube, definitely follow me at jj.ms3. So next thing, I think the wheel bearing on the passenger side may be going bad, I'm not sure. I don't know what is making the sound, but basically it only makes the sound when I brake. So when I'm braking really hard, it makes like this ticking sound. And I mean, the car's been driving fine. I've had this sound for, uh, guys, it sounds bad. I've had this since like last summer and I've just kind of been leaving it. Like nothing's been wrong. 
Uh, doesn't make like weird sounds that like a normal wheel bearing would make. Um, maybe something's like rubbing or vibrating between like my brake pads or like, I don't know, I, I, I took them out and I put them on again and that didn't fix it. Honestly guys, I have no idea. It's making this weird sound like, I kind of sound like an idiot right now. Like I don't really know what I'm talking about, but my best guess is the wheel bearing, but I mean, it doesn't make like the typical wheel bearing sounds that like I look on, that I see on YouTube when like I'm trying to see if it's the same sound, but I don't know, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. I don't really know what I'm saying, but that may be an issue. So there's one problem with my car that I've noticed for quite a while. It's uh, actually my throwout bearing. So disclaimer, when I first got this car, I didn't know how to drive manual. So yes, the clutch did take a beating for like the first month of me owning it, just a disclaimer. And I've noticed that like the throat bearing is making, it's not like a grinding noise. It's kind of like a squeaky noise, if that makes any sense. Because when it starts making that noise, if I press down the clutch, it goes away. So I'm assuming it's the throat bearing. I'm, I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure I've done my research. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I'm not like a freaking expert on this shit, okay? Like I, I do know most things about this car, but there are still things that I'm still learning on and trying to, you know, up my knowledge on, but I'm pretty sure it's the throw bearing. I mean, the car still drives fine. The clutch is still holding up. It doesn't slip at all. It's just throw bearing, but I don't know. It's It's been like that for like however long the, the noise comes on periodically. And um, yeah, I don't know. Should I, should I just like swap my clutch like right now? Is it a big deal or should I just leave it? Because honestly, the car just drives fine. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of making myself look like an idiot probably, but you know, I'm being honest with you guys. Those are the problems with my car. Like there's not a lot to be honest. It's mostly cosmetic and there's only like two or three mechanical things that I mentioned. But other than that guys, this car has been super reliable. Hasn't really given me any problems, knock on wood obviously. And you know, it's been holding up all right. For a 2013 car with 175,000 kilometers, honestly, this car looks really younger than what its age really is and the abuse it's been through and like, you know, being daily driven. Mechanically, it's still really good. It still drives amazing. Still hits boost, all that stuff. Honestly, for the most part, this car doesn't really have a lot of problems. Guys, I don't even know how long this video is gonna be. I feel like I've been talking for like forever, but hey man. Also guys, my rear end is about to get a major face off. I got three things, three things coming. Well, one thing that's not coming, I kind of I kind of have to like go to a shop to do. You'll see why. It's basically going to cost $100 and it's basically like wasting $100. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but you'll see what I mean cuz you, you guys are maybe thinking like what is this guy talking about? When you watch the video, I'm recording it tomorrow when I go to the shop, you'll see what I mean. But if you follow my Instagram, you'll know that there are two things that like I kind of like teased on my Instagram. I put up a poll, so if, like I said, if you guys want to stay more up to date with like, you know, my car or whatever, definitely follow my Instagram. All right, you know what? I'm just going to say it. So we're getting a rear diffuser from a company called Ventus Auto Works. They're uh, local to me. I'm going to pick it up. Uh, so I'm recording this video today on Tuesday, April, I think it's the 13th or 12th. I'm not sure. Top of my head. I'm picking that up on Sunday and I actually ordered a Project M wing extension. And by the way, guys, don't ask me. I've already have I already have a buyer for the rear lip and the spoiler lip, so please don't ask. They're already going to be sold as soon as they're off. But yeah, stay tuned for that $100. I don't know mod you could say or waste of money that's going to spice up my rear end. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that, guys. Honestly, I got a lot of more content to come. I'm also getting an alignment tomorrow. So finally, if you guys didn't see my camber arm video, definitely check that out. Yeah, uh, finally getting an alignment. I'm very excited for that. I'm going to have the GoPro strapped on my head. See if I can like you know, notice any difference to be honest, but yeah, I'm uh, really excited for that. Anyways, guys, that's enough rambling out of me. So right now I'm going to Canadian Tire. Uh, so where I live, there's only curbs I pick up. You actually can't even go into stores. So I bought NACs and PB Blaster because I'm out of both of those and I need that for when I do a coilover install actually for my buddy Super WRX. So if you guys are interested in an install video for that, definitely let me know. I know it's not a Mazda Speed video, but you know, I'm trying to switch up my content. I'm trying to, you know, you know, make videos for like different cars, try to expand my audience because, you know, not a lot of people look for Mazda Speed 3s online and, you know, I really want to, I'm really taking this shit really seriously, but you know, it's kind of hard when you're like, when you have a car that's obviously really cool and that I love to death and all that stuff, but not a lot of people know about it. All right, let's go to crappy tire. Uh, which way am I gonna take? Yeah, guys, I'm really done with this whole freaking virus thing, man. Honestly, it's kind of annoying. Bro, 
the freaking track is closed right now i am so pissed about that so i can't even track my car it was supposed to be around this time within the like the next week or two even like right now they were supposed to like you know officially like reopen consistently every day but you know because of the lockdown and all that stuff where i live uh doesn't look like it's gonna happen for at least the next month so i mean kind of disappointing but you know what whatever what can you do what can you do I wonder if the alignment tomorrow is going to make a difference. I don't know if I sound like an idiot saying that, but does it make a difference when you get an alignment? Like, does it... Because I have seen some people when they get an alignment, like, they're like, yo, it's like a night and day difference. I mean, to be honest, my car doesn't feel like it needs an alignment, but it does at the same time. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Either way, I'm happy that I'm going to get my car finally dialed in, but yeah. guys we are here at first when you get like when you're the next person in line like a person who works there would like you know scan like the code and then like they bring it to you now you have to like you know go to a spot and like write down the number spot you're at put your phone number and all that it's kind of weird but whatever it's funny i was just chilling and then i saw this car and it's funny so i actually knew this guy from my old uh university that i used to go to i literally only went there for one year long story but yeah i met him and then like we were just talking and shit it was kind of funny but yeah he likes to build dude respect the freaking mazda speed man like they think it looks good all that stuff i mean dude this thing is a freaking sleeper man honestly all right guys we just got it and as you can see got the pb blaster right here and if i can get this out the bag got some anti -seize. this is going to come in real handy when we do the coilovers now before we end off today's video, I'm going to get some freaking candy. Anyways guys, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to post this video tomorrow, so as soon as I get inside, I'm going to start editing this. So hopefully it won't take too long, but um, anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, there's really not a lot of problems with this car. It's mostly cosmetic and a couple small things here and there, but you know, honestly this car is really freaking reliable. It's been treating me really well and you know couldn't be happier all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video stay consistent peace